All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout New Vegas series of the Happy Place, where today we are right where we left off in the last episode, back here in the master bedroom as we continue our journey to try and find the various, um, things we need for a ritual, which hopefully will get us out of the house, but with my luck, will spawn something that wants us dead. We'll see. We'll see how it all goes, but thankfully... Off camera, I did figure out what we need to do. Now, one of the two issues we had, I figured out on my own. The other, I did have to look up. So, of course, our two issues were getting the safe combination for that safe over there. And the other is getting that something for that pedestal that we found in the gallery. Now, the gallery one is the one that I figured out on my own. I did off cam go from this save file and just kind of ran around <laughs> the entire mansion looking for anything I might have missed. And I did indeed miss a thing. I entirely forgot the greenhouse existed and we hadn't gone in there yet because so far it hadn't mentioned it to us as a place to head to. So we didn't and I ended up just forgetting it existed. And in, in there is an item. I assume i didn't test because i wanted to bring you guys along with me just in case <laughs> i assume the item i found in there will indeed help and be uh, what we need to put on the pedestal so we'll go we'll go find that out the other thing the safe combination uh i had to look that one up now i didn't want to just straight up spoil myself with just finding the code so i spoiled myself by finding out how in the hell we find the combination and um yeah, it's the dead detective. Apparently, I missed something by his body. So, we're gonna go look at that and find out what it is. Because, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I didn't want to spoil and just grab the code for myself. No, I did want to know where in the hell the code was even found. So, um, yeah, by the detective, dude. So, uh, I think we find him on our way to the gallery and all. So, let's go do that. Go in sneaky mode because I can't remember... If there's someone outside here or not. There shouldn't be. It's like I reloaded back to back to the save file we ended on, since I did just run around the entire mansion pulling some of the enemies that were existing. Like the uh what's her name? Perfect. <laughs> I may have pulled her several times around the mansion through gold. Oh, nope, there she is. Never mind. Hi. You know what? Screw it. Later, perfect. You know, I kind of want to fight her, though. I do wonder if we can take her. All right, all right. And down. We're in danger, but she probably won't follow us through here. Huzzah. All right, let's just wait for a while. <laughs> so, yeah, the gallery and uh, greenhouse. Jesus, I forgot words for a second. <laughs> They're through that way. We're cautioned, so I doubt perfect followed us through the, uh, the second door. She's probably in that hallway there now. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> and what we need... God, I want to wait until it's not cautioned anymore, just in case she did come through the door. Because what I need is something there. And, yeah, hmm. I'm real worried about what it is, because... With my luck, we've missed something else similar to this that will we'll need in the future are we good did she follow us hey we're hidden we're good nice still though check yeah she didn't follow us through the door we're fine magnificent okay yep there it is it's these balls eight five one three i believe that's the code which you know may explain why this note keeps popping up here no matter how many times I grab it because it's um it's why I never figured it out before because I just thought at the end here this was just trailing off because he died got stabbed by the pull cue like we had seen in multiple other notes of just the notes trailing off into nothingness but no bedroom safe eight five one three that's um that was the hint <laughs> and that's why I never got it. They're, they're, you know, pool balls on a pool table. That's not anything strange. 
but the fact that I can't grab them is. And you mix that with the note that doesn't disappear every time I come back, it's here again. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Alright, so we can go and get that in a little bit. 8513, fair enough. While we're down here, though, let's go handle the greenhouse thing. Plus, you know, on my way back, we can remind ourselves of the number again. Okay, sneak just in case. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Anyone in the dining room anymore? Nope, not after I murdered them all. Yay! <laughs> Hmm, also never did look at the other paintings in here. Yeah, they're all just the same. I keep coming back to the paintings, though, because of that that article about them. That maybe there's something to them, but they do all just seem to be the same. We're seeing a lot of repeat paintings around the home. Oh, well. Okay, where was the greenhouse? It was one of these doors. No, oh, this one. Sweet. And nothing in here. That's what we need right there. But let's see if there's anything else in here of value or interest to us. Mainly loot. I want loot. <laughs> so when I was running around off camera, I, I was just looking for anything that might be pedestal worthy. Not any other things. My god, a lot of tin cans. Jeez. Someone made a mess in here. Oh, there's nothing. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, just all bent tin cans. Weird. All right, well, over here. The only flowers in the place mean nothing to us, but we have this. In memory of, in loving memory of Edith Pit Pickford. May these plants grow to symbolize your everlasting beauty. Okay. Yep, that's the ashes. And didn't the uh, plaque under the painting by the pedestal talk about ashes? So, pretty sure this is what we need. And also, pretty sure by taking that, I probably just triggered some enemies. Oh, great, 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 great. All right. Well, yep, nothing else here. Let's, uh. Was that blood there before? <laughs> Let's turn off our light. And go through the store. Because I have a feeling. Oh, no, we're good. No red. Neat. Okay. <laughs> I really figured that would have spawned some enemies. <laughs> okay, never mind. We're fine. We're fine. Just right into the gallery then. Oh, and thank God no enemies here either. Yeah, let's just go look at the this again though. My life falls to ash. Yep, yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, well... Thank crap I was right. Oh, I was... <laughs> you know, like I said, off cam, I spent some time running around the entire place looking for something that maybe we could put here. But I didn't actually test it because I didn't want to spoil myself. I wanted to bring you guys along with me. And I've... <laughs> ever since I found those ashes, I've been thinking to myself, what if that's not what we needed, though? What if I go to make the video and I go and come back to this and there's just the never mind again? <laughs> would have been so embarrassing but no thank crap place ashes on pedestal okay none of those none of those mannequins seem to have come alive that's good and i assume yep you're open holy oil oh, thank god okay now they're alive crap you know what i'm not gonna fight them run <laughs> screw that noise screw that noise I'm not fighting six freaking mannequins that just came to life. Hell no. All right, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Also, whenever we run now, I noticed it last episode when we were in the cave, but whenever I run now, I get like a weird texture that pops up in the bottom left-hand corner and very much confuses me. Is it from our, yeah, it might be the pauldron on our armor. Huh. Never noticed that before with the, uh, with the combat armor. Oh, well. All right. Let's continue back to the West Wing and to the other safe. Oh, God, where's perfect? Oh, there they are. They're there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <gasps> We're cautioned. And I'm in danger. Run. Screw it. <laughs> 
Spy, perfect. And there. And here. And we've lost them. Sweet. <laughs> Screw fighting them. Uh, I'm sure we probably could kill them, but I think I would end up going through too much of my weaponry. All right, hello, safe. How are you? Oh, I forgot to double check the body. It was 8513, right? I think that's what it was. Eight. Five. One. Three. Sweet, I heard an unlock sound. Okay. All right, there, there's no actual mannequins in here, just like dress forms. I think we're okay. Unlike in the gallery where there were the six freaking mannequins that came to life. <laughs> no, that's not what I needed in my life. I think we're good, though. Sacred Tome of Sacraments. All right. Okay, so I assume we go back to Sarah. That was her name, right? Yep, return to Sarah. There it goes. <laughs> it, was, it was taking a little bit of time to uh, pop that into existence there. But all right, all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, God. Some things definitely spawned in the world, didn't they? Knife out. <laughs> Maybe I should have gun out? Uh, it all depends on what they are. What what sort of enemies we face. If it's the shadows, I'd rather just stab them. They're not very tough. If it's the savages, the guns would be better. Yeah, we only got 18 shots left with you. A fair amount of shots with you. 40 shots total, but uh, it's very damaged. 18 shots with you. 10 shots with you. We do have a hatchet, a couple of knives. Spike knuckles that I picked up for reasons. 31, 22. Oh. These are actually better than uh, Cosmic Knife. This does bonus limb damage, but. Huh. Considering our skills, though, I don't imagine it's going to work very well. <laughs> Wait, it's unarmed, right? That's an actual skill that I never take? <laughs> yeah, unarmed. I mean, our, our melee is already really sad, but the knuckles looked like they needed quite a bit, whereas the cosmic knife needed zero. Yeah, it needs 50 unarmed. I mean, we can... Yeah, look at us go. You know what? We'll give them a try. <laughs> I'm worried about things, though, again. Let's, let's... Let's quick save here, too, and turn off the light. Oh, I see things. Oh, there's some of you. Thankfully, they're all just there, though, and I can easily sneak by them. Oh, lovely. It was several perfects. <laughs> Inaccessible. Oh, crap. That's not the right door. This is the door I needed. I keep doing that. I keep doing that. You know, it kind of doesn't feel as special anymore when there's multiple of them. I liked when it was just one perfect. <laughs> there I go. Ah, crap. We got savages in here. And we got more things over there. Yeah, I'm going to try and kill this one. Because we're hidden right now. I'm going to try and kill him with melee, then switch to a gun to kill that one. I don't want to waste the vats, though, so let's... Oh, yeah! Did it quietly! <gasps> Can we do it to the other one quietly? I'm cautioned. Never mind. He's coming for me. <laughs> Oh. oh god, oh crap, oh crap, I didn't get a good shot on him, he turned at the last second. Ooh, okay, he's dead, did I get, oh it's just, oh it's just you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna waste bullets on you, did, did that savage cripple me? Thank god no. <laughs> I was real worried. Uh, thanks to our combat armor that we have now that we did not have last time we faced those guys. So they thankfully were not able to bust up my legs or anything. Alright, yeah, let's go back to these spiked knuckles and start bashing end heads. Yeah, take that. Boy, it's real slow. There we go, one of them's dead. Boy, they're probably doing a lot of damage to my gear though, which is not great. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah! Punch him! Punch a shadow. 
<laughs> I didn't even think about that. Punching a shadow. Yeah, sweet. Love the weird noises they make, though. Alright, we good? No perfect in here? Nope, perfect didn't follow us through. God, I'm still wondering about these paintings everywhere. Some of them are a bit more unique, but they don't really tell me anything. We can turn the light back on now. I'm happy we took out one of the savages quietly, though. I have a feeling we might have been in a much worse situation if we hadn't. Oh, thank God there was no one in here. Hey, Sarah? Hi, Sarah. I got the stuff you asked for. Thank you. These were the only things I couldn't get myself. Uh-huh. By the time I found out about it, I couldn't bear to leave this room. Oh, okay. It's been so long. The gods are here, you know. Wait, what? I didn't believe it myself at first, but the longer I stuck around, I began to see. You began to see the gods? The further more atrocities were committed, that's when they came and made this place what it is now. Oh. I think you know it, too. You were reborn in this place. Wait, what? This town. That's why you're still alive. Oh, that, okay. You were meant to come here. Oh. Okay, that's actually a nice tie-in, though, with our our, our story. I kind of like that. You know, we, we were reborn here, quite literally. We got shot up at the graveyard and brought back to life. So that's actually kind of a neat neat little story tie-in there. I like it. Though, the gods being here, huh? And you can see them, Sarah? Wh what are you talking about there? Do you believe in fate? Uh, me personally, no. But... This character has seen ghosts before? Would that make it fate? <laughs> We went to the whole haunted casino thing. Maybe that was maybe maybe our character does. Yeah, I'll go with our character does. Sure, why not? We're 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 not new to this whole ghost thing. Maybe that would make us think in fate. I don't know, but sure. Dot dot dot. Maybe to Sarah not. The city of sin awaits an appointment. Uh huh. They're just waiting. Yeah. They're waiting for you. Oh, you want me to do it? But is it you? Or the you that is not yet you. Oh, fair question. <laughs> yeah, I want to ask this, but I also want to open the door. But I, I get what she was saying there, though. Saying that, you know, the City of Sin needs me to appoint. <laughs> but would it be me or the, uh, another me that I choose a different path for? So, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask what you talk about, though, because I, I doubt she's going to open the door for us yet. But, hey, what are you talking about? It's nothing. I'm sure you'll know soon enough. Oh, fair. Oh, thank God. Now can you open the door, Sarah? This is a dead end. There's nothing beyond here. Oh. I... We know? Do we? Shouldn't there be a room at least? <laughs> I know, apparently. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it opened. To secret study. All right, we're safe. <laughs> I was hoping something wasn't going to spawn in there. We're in. Investigate the hideaway. Alright, we got a lot more ruined books. No Sarah in sight. Because, of course, she's a ghost. West Wing bedroom. Wait, what? Hmm? There was a West Wing bedroom key that we needed? Oh, I think I remember now. Yeah, there was a door that we hadn't been able to open with a key for a while. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably it. Got another knife. Altered Ritual of Desire Fissures. What? Okay, well, that's that's the, that's the waypoint name. Let's take the key first. And then the actual, yeah, alt, Altered Ritual of Desire's Fissure. What the balls is this? <gasps> A diary page. Okay, okay, okay. There might be other things here. There might be other things here besides the knife. Yeah, just more destroyed books. Sadly, just this pile of papers is nothing but a pile of papers. Glad I saw that on the floor, though. Okay, seems to be the only two things in here. Well, let's give it another look. Just to be on the safe side. Painting? Nope, we've seen that one before. Yeah, I just, I, I feel like there's something with the paintings that, that I'm missing. <laughs> I'm probably overthinking things. Oh, bloody handprint. Lovely, 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 lovely. I already have multiple knives. I don't need another. Yeah, it looks like everything else is good. 
Okay, what are we doing? First, the Altered Ritual Desires Fissure. The, uh, no. through the ritual. For some reason, my brain immediately skipped the through and went to the the. <laughs> through the Ritual of Desires Fissure, weird name, one could build a world that could exist beyond that of what we see. But we can also enter that world created by another in two ways. Death is always a gateway, but those who die can never leave the realm. They would then belong to the one who created it, just as she wanted. There is only one way to enter now, to pierce the veil as a physical entity through a perversion of the ritual. Use an item, an item used in the original ceremony. Read the fifth passage from the tone of the 21st sacraments. Oh, crap, we're going to have to remember that. Douse yourself in the holy oil. Enter the circle drawn in the blood of perverted innocence. Oh, boy. If only I had the ingredients, I was able to make a circle in my room with my own blood. It's the only way to save them. All right, so we have to remember that. The fifth passage from the tome. I, I assume the 21 sac... That's just the holy book of sacraments that we found. And douse herself in oil. We probably need to make sure we do that in order. Read the passage, douse herself in oil, and then enter the circle. Cool. Diary page. Looks like this page was ripped out of the book. I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Amy. It's my fault. I was always too rough with her. Maybe I was a little jealous of her. Mom always gave her attention. I was never a girly girl, so I guess it made sense. I was the black sheep. I pushed her too hard. I'll never forget that sound as long as I live. Wait, what? What? Oh, I thought Amy did die. Like, by accident. That she was trying to hide on the roof or whatever. Sarah killed her? Oh, damn. The window breaking, the screaming. She was alive, too, when she hit the ground. Just for a moment. I just watched. I didn't know what to do. I told Mom everything. I told her I pushed her. I told her I was the reason that she died. I told her I was sorry. She said nothing and walked away like I wasn't even there. I didn't know what to do. I felt so guilty, so I talked to Lorenzo. I usually don't confide in the help. <laughs> Maybe don't call him the help. Especially him, but who could I turn to? Grandpa's always asleep these days, and Mom just wants to pretend I don't even exist. He said the best thing for me and her is to leave, and that things should heal on their own. Maybe it's for the best. Oh, damn, though. I didn't know Sarah... I, I thought from that letter that we found... Or was it not this? If you'd find, yeah, I thought it she fell because she was like hiding on the roof and hide and seek or whatnot. Between what we heard from this and also the thing from the grandfather, that's what I thought had happened. But no, Sarah she accidentally murdered her sister. Damn. All right. And so my guess is then the mother went completely crazy, started getting into some dark rituals, and then all of this occurred. <laughs> cool, cool, good times, good times. All right, An interesting twist, though. Yeah, I, I figured she accidentally fell from the other notes. And we had... Dang. All right. Quick save and go out. Still no one here. Still haven't gotten away through this! It's going to happen at some point, right? <laughs> I have no idea. All right, sneak. All right, no one's in here. They're all dead. Beautiful. All right, yeah, into the west wing. Yeah, it should be the door right across from here, right? Which means... Perfect's there. Hey, maybe we finally fight her. <laughs> Ah, there she is. <laughs> yep, that's the door I need to go through. Okay, you know what? Let's let's kill Perfect. Yeah, oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Die, ah! Perfect. Die. <laughs> boy, that's gonna take a lot. Oh boy. Oh, we're both punching each other. I've actually done more damage than I thought, but she's gonna do a lot more damage to me, and probably break my armor. I don't know. It's kind of weird fighting mannequin. <laughs> Okay, you know what, you know what, you know what, uh... There we go. Yeah, we'll do some decent damage. 
Not as much as I was hoping. <laughs> okay, the last nine shots we have. Okay, that's gone. We'll use the, these two since, you know, there's so few bullets. I only have enough action points for one burst. I think they all missed. <laughs> all right, that's good. You know, I'm going to go back to the cosmic knife. An extra limb damage might be useful for us here. Plus, we can swing it a lot faster than the than the fists. Yeah, 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 yeah. My my poor armor is probably just dwindling so hard right now. There we go. Perfect is dead. Sweet. <laughs> How's my armor looking? Was that the worst decision I could have made? You know, I don't remember what it was before, but I don't think these were fully repaired when we got them. Okay, we're good. Let's just take some, uh... No, I'm already down one endurance. Let's not take that. Sure, why not some crispy squirrel bits? We're gonna get some radiation, but oh well. Yeah, we'll take the gecko steak. Actually, it'll up a pretty good amount. So yeah, it should be the store right here. Sweet. Now I'm kind of wondering, though. Uh... How much more we got left? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'll take. Uh, do I have another? Yeah, I got some. Got some of you. All right, let's open the door. What time is it right now? We're at twenty-seven minutes. All right, let's take a look at what's in this room. We got a note. Just gonna close that door. <laughs> take a look around. Oh, we had a key here too. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize it could come in through that room too. Nope. All right. Close you. Nothing there. Nothing there. Yeah, looks like we got a note. Oh, another diary page. How oh, sweet, 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 sweet. Nothing there of value. All right. Let's take a look at that diary page, and I think we'll end it here for today, uh, and then we'll do the ritual next episode. All right, another one ripped out of the book. I got the news weeks ago that she passed away from starvation. Of course, I had to come and see the house. What I found was disgusting. The police had already rescued the children that were held here. Oh, boy. I never should have left. Maybe she wouldn't have spiraled into this if I hadn't. She seemed to have really gotten into the occult stuff. I looked through it trying to find an answer for why she starved to death. It just doesn't make sense. It's called the Ritual of Desire Fissure. Still a weird name. I wouldn't have believed it. It was it believed it was real. But I've seen things I couldn't believe. When have you? When? Where? The simplest way I can put it is that this place is haunted. I can hear children, and I can hear my mother calling to them. Sometimes things around the house move. Mannequins, toys, and furniture are just appearing in places they shouldn't be. The other night, I could have sworn there was a silhouette of a man watching me shower. But when I went to get a better look, there was no one. Maybe I'm just going crazy, but I'm starting to believe a lot of this occult mumbo-jumbo. Maybe this ritual caused my mother's death. I was researching the hidden story my dad had. It looks like Lorenzo moved a lot of his books in there. Uh, going through their notes, I found a way to do this ritual. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try it. There's too many weird things going on that are leading me to believe there's some merit to this. I... It, it says, rather, it says we need innocent blood for this ritual. I don't know what that means, but I don't want to kill anyone. I'll use my own, at which you killed your sister, so it was tainted blood, and thus didn't work for you. All right, well, nifty. Okay, so how's this all gonna go? Do we just? Hmm. I'm, wondering, I'm wondering how this all pans out, but we'll do that next time. <laughs> it's nearly the half hour mark here, so it's a good place to end it. You know, I might even take a quick nap, heal up the rest of us. How's actually our body parts doing? Yeah, our head could use some healing. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll have a little quick nap, then we'll do a ritual, and then everything will go to hell, I'm sure. But that's next time. So hopefully you all have enjoyed this episode today, where we actually made some pretty good progress. I'm quite happy about how it all did go down. And I uh, hope you do come back for the next one, where 
Boy, something's gonna happen. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. We'll have a good one.